trees down just like this one you see right behind me here and power lines down all over Colfax are why this community is still in the dark this morning. Now we talked with folks busy digging out and gassing up their generators as they wait for the power to come back on and for I 80 to reopen. Snowy conditions headed into the Sierra would typically be a field day for chain installer Chris Lotito. The roads closed, so we're not working. Because when I-80 is shut down, he misses out on business. Caltrans does a great job removing the snow. The problem this time has been the low snow, trees falling. They're not used to all this weight, so trees falling, power lines down across the freeway. So it's like a war zone and it takes a lot of energy, a lot of manpower to clean it up. This while neighbors in Colfax are waking up in the dark for a second day in a row. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> we just hunker down at home and, uh, you know, stay warm and uh, just you know, make sure we conserve power as, as best we can. Rob Fitzpatrick is relying on power from his Tesla power walls just installed last week. We found him helping out a neighbor by filling up their gas cans to power their generator. Just everybody stay safe and, you know, just do the neighborly thing, you know, help your neighbors out when they need it because, you know, unfortunately a lot of people I think were caught off guard and were surprised by this. So just uh, check on your neighbors. PG&E also reminding folks that if you see a downed power line, assume it is energized. Stay away from it and call PG&E to report it. Now we will continue to track these power outages for you and let you know just as soon as these lights are expected to come back on, both on air and online at abc10.com. Get the latest updates on breaking news and extreme weather with the ABC10 News app, available in the App and Play Store.